Hi everyone, um, today I'm going to be talking about my entertainment project, who I chose was Justin Bieber. Um, some of you might not know, but Justin Bieber is a big pop star and famous over a YouTube video that he posted and is actually the number one search person in 2010. Um, <clears throat> so about Justin Bieber. He was born in Ontario, Canada in 1994 to a single mother. Um, he shortly started playing music at a very young age, different instruments, and eventually he posted a YouTube video which went viral by many different people and a lot of different producers like Scooter Braun um, eventually picked him up and he became a sensation at a super young age. I think it was at 13 he first started becoming famous. Um, in fact, he was the first artist to have five number one songs on the Billboard records by um, 2000 and ooh, before his 19th birthday. So it was pretty impressive to do that. Um, so I'm going to talk about kind of how Justin Bieber stands up um, com to just fans and how fans um, talk to him through different countries. I thought it was very interesting. Um, there was a video that posted of his fans in Canada. Um, he has a lot of different fan bases and actually one of his most popular fan bases is in uh, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, and Denmark. Um, so in this video, um, it was interaction of his fans seeing him in a hotel room. Um, they were bombarding him, yelling at him, screaming. He wasn't even able to get to his car. They were asking for pictures, yelling at him. And it overwhelmed him, obviously, and he was pretty upset by it. Um, the fans acted like he almost didn't mean anything, and they were just like a person. Like, he wasn't a person. He acted like he was this famous person, and Justin Bieber has talked about this many times. Like, he stated and tweeted, if you come up to me and you see me and you ask for a picture, I will simply say no. I'm not here to take a picture. You guys treat me like I'm a zoo animal and I'm a person. And I think I get that. I mean, he sometimes just wants to go for a walk and he can't even do that. Paparazzi or whatever, fans are all over him. Um, so the people in Canada were not very respectful of his privacy. And um, they were pretty upset about that. And not only that, um, I wanted to relate it to Australia. So there was also another video I saw, and YouTube video, of how he was interacting with fans in Australia. And I thought this was very interesting because um, they were a lot more respectful of his privacy. In fact, they are behind a gate, and they were not, they were screaming, oh, Justin Bieber, but they were respecting him. They weren't asking picture, picture, picture. They were, in fact, actually having a real one-on-one -on -one conversation with him, asking about how their day was, what they're doing. And I thought that was really more respectful, and I thought that was very interesting, how people from Australia interacted with Justin Bieber and how his fans from Canada did. Obviously he's a super um, popular artist and he has a huge fan base and he gets this a lot but I thought that was really interesting to know that the people in Australia were a lot more respectful of him um, which I think was very important. Um, Justin Bieber has also won, won multiple intercultural world um, tours such um, he won the Grammy Award, he won Juno Awards, and he also got a Diamond Jewelry medal which I think is very interesting. Um, when he first started um, touring, he started in North America from June to December, and then he eventually um, started to tour to bigger countries such as Europe, Asia, South America, Israel, Australia, and Mexico. So he started to grow a huge fan base from every country, and it was pretty empowering to see that at such a young age how successful he was. Um, so now I'm going to talk about how Justin Bieber stands up to cultural appropriation. Um, appropriation. Well, Justin Bieber stands up to it many ways actually. Mostly recently too he has talked about it openly. Um, Justin Bieber said that he knows that black artists have played a major role on contributing to who he is and to who his sound is. Um, he's committed to doing more work to play them back in kind and I pay forward for other black artists and other black people in this community. Um, on Sunday he Instagrammed a statement and he said I am inspired by black culture. Um, I have benefited off black culture. My style, how I sing, how I dance, how I perform, and how I act is how I have been committed and how I've been um, motivated and inspired by black culture. I think that was super interesting to say that the reason he sings, the reason he, his style is that, is from a different, from the black culture. And I think that's very important that he speaks up about that. Um, he later said, I am committed to using my platform from this day forward to learn to speak up about racial injustice and systematic oppression and to identify ways to be a part of much deeper needed change. Um, I think this was really important for him to say because he does have 120 million followers on Instagram, which rises every single day. So his platform is very far to everyone around him. Um, and it gets seen by almost everyone. Not only that, um, 
Justin Bieber has worked with many different black artists throughout his career, like such as Usher, um, Travis Scott, um, Big Sean, and other artists like that. He has even worked with music producers such as Jason Boyd, and his music sorrows definitely come from the R&B roots, and which is known as black um, music, and it started back in the um, early hundreds, and it it's just really has grown throughout this and changed, and I think it's very important how Justin has been playing his roots from different types of cultures and I really do think Justin Bieber has stood up to cultural appreciation. He did even post about um, the death of George Floyd, a black man who was killed in Minneapolis by a white police officer. He stated how he needs to address this and how they need his fans need to understand what is happening. He even stated in a quote, no lives matter until black lives matter and I think it was super important that he uses his uh, platform which has millions of followers he has fan bases all over the country to support to show what's happening in this world and what needs to change and what ways need to do it and I think that's just very important so overall that is my topic on entertainment about Justin Bieber thank you